I remember I got a text message from this lady who was so concerned because a dear friend of hers, well, she was in a mess. Her life was upside down and inside out. She was struggling, so much pain. And the very next day she had booked in to have an abortion. My friend, she felt so helpless and she, she contacted me. She said, Father Paul, will you pray for her? I said, of course I will. I'm a priest. This is what we do. So I, I got down on my knees and I prayed and I said, Lord, help this lady and this little child. Protect them. Guide them. And then I got up off my knees and I rang my friend and I said, so what are we going to do? And she said, what do you mean? I said, well, it's not too late. This lady, she needs our help, our support. I'd like to speak with her. I'd like to meet her. She said, but you don't even know her and she lives on the other side of the city. I said, so what? Let's go, let's go. So we got in our cars and we went there and, and God provided an opportunity. And I was with her one on one. And it became so clear very quickly that just below the surface, there was this ocean of pain. She felt so overwhelmed she felt she had no choice. She was suffocating. She was struggling just to stay alive. And inside of her, there was this battle between two things. The first is she knew, as all mothers know, that she had the precious gift of human life within her. And everything inside of her moved her to want to protect and to cherish this little one. It's her child. Yet on the other hand, her life was out of control and she had virtually no support. It's as if the whole world had abandoned her. And isn't that often the case? Once is too often that a young girl or a lady finds herself so vulnerable, used, sometimes abused. And where are we to support them, to help them? Where are the men who must be faithful and stand by these ladies when they need them the most. It's almost as if all of society has failed these ladies. And indeed the church, so often Christians are, are ready to, to judge and to say what's right and wrong, but, but not too quick to understand, to show compassion. Too often, even priests, we have failed to have the merciful heart of Christ and to be very sensitive and respectful or the tenderness of Our Lady. I think of that, that magnificent passage in the scripture where that woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery and the men they, from the town, they dragged her through the street. She was humiliated and they threw her before the feet of Christ filled with this self-righteousness and anger. And they said, Moses commanded us that a woman caught in the act of adultery, like this woman, she should be stoned to death. What do you say? The Lord was silent. And eventually he said, he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. Gradually they walked away, the eldest and then the youngest, until the woman was alone with Christ. And then he bent down and he took her by the hand and he lifted her up. And he said, woman, has no one condemned you? She said, no one, sir. And he said, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. This is the heart of Christ. This is what should be in the heart of every human person. Not that we, we think that everything's fine when we know that it isn't, but there's this compassion inside of us that sees the person struggling, that we want to help them. And whatever decisions they have made, whatever painful, life-changing, even irreversible decisions, we still must love them. We must welcome them. So. If this is somehow your story, if you feel somehow estranged from, from God or the church, then we only have one thing to say. Do not be afraid. You're very welcome. Come. 
the church is for you. None of us are perfect. We need God, we need each other. And we want to walk with you in love along the path of healing and to seek God's forgiveness. And you reach out to us. And if you approach a priest and, and ask him for help, ask him for God's mercy, I pray that you only ever find gentleness, respect and love. And for any who find themselves in, in a very tragic situation of perhaps being young or, or isolated, vulnerable and with child, who are pregnant, we need as human beings, we need to reach out to them. Yes, we need to pray for them. Of course we need to pray because in the end it is God that changes hearts. But we need to protect them. We need to do what is within our power. As a whole community, as a church, as a human family, we need to surround these people with the support that they need to always choose life, to choose love. This is God's plan.